You know what I mean? Like they drop on tape and they and they, they satisfy with the love that they get and they think they already made it. You know what I mean? With the exception of a few cats out here, I mean that's that's that I got two, three mixtapes up, but mm -hmm. I'm definitely trying to change that. You know what I mean? Like I know it's only my third year rapping, but shit, my first tape about to drop on March six, but I'm like four or five tracks into my second joint, you know what I mean? Like I'm not playing no games out here. Yeah, I see, yeah, I yeah. see, I respect the hustle. Yeah, I respect yeah, the hustle, yeah. man. That's how you gotta do it. Like you yeah. said, you can't stay stagnant. Exactly. exactly. But, um, do you have any like features? Yeah, I got a couple features. My biggest feature is when um URL battle rapper T Top. Mm -hmm. I hate even saying URL battle rapper because the nigga is just really like he he he's talented, you feel me? So yeah. He uses the battle rap to try to get a bigger name, but the, he really wants to make music. He got a couple of tough ones tapes out, you know? Yeah. I mean, I got a track, I Ain't Playing, it's out on YouTube right now. You know what I mean? That shit, that shit bumping. Yeah, and feeling that yeah, shit. I was, I was listening to it early today, and I was feeling it. Yeah, you feeling that shit? I was feeling it. Okay. And okay. Um, I'm not from the streets, but I, mm -hmm. I felt it, you know felt what I'm saying? Right. right. So, but, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a couple other features. That's my biggest feature right there. Like that whole, that was more than just T Top rapping on the beat. Like, yeah, you know I mean, that nigga came to my hood. We shot the video with the Top. You know what I mean? Top a good dude, man. We done went to New York, mm -hmm. performed in New York with him. He done came back to the hood and performed in the hood with me. March 6th. He gonna be out here battling on um, biz. That's an I grind battle. Yeah, I mean, my man, my man, he's setting all the time into the biz. But we be out here, man. We be getting to it, bro. I mean, yeah. Um, are there any artists that you try to not? I don't, don't want to say um, emulate, but you know their their sound or that you try to and put to your own work and try to finagle it a little bit. Bro, not my favorite rapper was like obviously Jay Z. Like everybody's favorite rapper is Hov. If you're from the East Coast, you know what I mean. But but really, really, I really like Beanie Siegel. Like I really like that Philly state of mind and how they how they aggressive and they're expressive with themselves and that rap shit. I really listen to a lot of them niggas. You know what I mean? Like, but you know what I mean? Like I just Beans, me, Gilly the Kid, all them niggas. I like them Philly niggas. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you look at a lot of people don't look at. All the people, all, they probably make sure yeah. Biggie or Jay Z or, or um, Pop. It's good to hear someone say someone outside the yeah, yeah, yeah. outside that. See, but that's not even outside. I'm thinking that's how everybody should feel. Like niggas should know. Like when, when we talk about being, you know, that's one of the yeah, I mean, one of the best out there. That that's the thing people don't listen to. A lot, most of the people like really don't have any bars like that. So. Right, right, right. When you listen to like Beanie, Jay, because me personally, I'm all about the bar. I'm not about the the club. I, I don't get wrong. I like the club anthems and stuff like that. But I'm more, I'm more of a conscious listen to the listen to the lyrics, words, the message, meaning. Exactly, and that's what I think a lot of new artists are missing in their in the in the music. Mix that. I'm trying to. Be all turned up and all that, but I'm still trying to say words, you know what I mean? I'm not trying mm -hmm. to, every word that I say, I'm trying to make sense, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to mumble or none of that shit. Right? It's a challenge, it's a challenge though, man. Yeah, I, I, I bet. You know, like, it's, this, this rap shit definitely ain't easy, man. Like, <laughs> niggas think it's easy because you see the videos, you see niggas, but it's just it's, it's crazy, man. The grind is real. Like, if you ain't grinding, you definitely not shining out here, man. It's way too much talent, you know what I mean? And even the niggas that's really talented is losing because they don't even got the grind in them, you feel me? Like, exactly. So it's really a new day out here. Like, I really feel like Massachusetts, Mass Music, nigga, we, we coming. Like, there's a whole bunch of talent out here, especially in my city. Like, out here in Lynn, man, we got a lot of talent, bro. Like, yeah. So that's, so I, I was from listening to you right now. I see that your hard work, your, your grind is pretty much what separates you from a lot of other artists. Is there anything else that separates you? Shit, man. I'm, I'm humble, man. Like, 
I got people coming up to me feeling like I changed and like I'm just like I've been I'm the same. Like they, they only saying I changed because they feel like I should change. I should have changed because they see me doing what I'm doing, but man, I'm, I'm humble as shit, man. Nobody's gonna change that, man. I got a whole bunch around me, niggas around me that get mad at me because how humble I be, feel me? Like, yeah, that's, but, that's almost like a gift and a curse in a way because uh -huh. when you're humble, people be like, oh, he's saying that, he knows he's a shit, da, 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 da. Yeah. But honestly, the truth is, when you're humble, that's like, almost, I think that's like the greatest compliment you could have. Right, right. Because too many people make it big and they just forget where they came mm -hmm. from, forget the people that was with them when they were, when they had nothing going right. for them and all that type of stuff. So when you're humble and you know keep your mind focused on, mm -hmm. on like the little things that that right. you know. So but um that's all I pretty really pride myself in, man. Like I'm not about to sit here and be like I'm not nice. I think I got the juice, you feel me? <laughs> but um I'm not gonna constantly say that shit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep saying that so I can feel better about myself. You feel me? I rather I'm gonna, I rather just keep it quiet. Like I, I don't I don't like to do all that talking. Like if I'm gonna get into a fight, I'm not the nigga that's doing all this. I'm just the nigga that's just about to swing. You feel me? Like, exactly. That's just how I move. You know what I mean? Just with life, period. You feel me? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And you said you are under a record label, I Grind. That's my management label. Yeah. You mean like we? Okay. He do it. He do. He got his battle league or whatever. I always say it's a record label, but that's what he. That's what we started off as. He's my manager. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But shit, record label. We turn it into all types of shit over here. I know, man. You can't. Snig over here into everything, man. Yeah, you can't <laughs> stick to one thing. You gotta have different lanes. Mm -hmm. That way, there's always more money coming in too. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, you have more money coming in. That helps. Mm -hmm. every, helps every other process get along to the, get to where they're going. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, but, um, right. is there anything else you want to tell the people? March 6th, man. That on my grid is coming, yo. 16 tracks. You already know what it is, man. If you fucking with me, stay tuned, man. If you ain't hip to who I am, get hit March 6th, man. Give me a chance, especially if you're from my city. If you're from my city, let me take my shit off. If you're from my city and you ain't fucking with me, you hate it. Straight like that, yo. And I don't even say that often. I ain't there, you know what I mean? If you from my city and you don't cop that on my grids, you hate me. Facts. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? They got you. Yeah, <laughs> man. Alright, man. This is Showtime Kev in the interview with Chris P. Thanks for stopping by, man. You already, bro. Alright. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.